So today I'm going to be collecting a lot of fish to cook up and serve in my restaurant so I can make a lot of money. But that recipe only gave us $17. So I'll have to discover some more by experimenting. And the easiest way to do that is by going over to a different fishing spot so we can catch different fish. And I might as well collect two of these for good measure, like so. And then we can hurry on back to our restaurant to try this out. So we have one of these long fish, some unagi sauce, and some noodles. Cook it all together and it should be something good, just a different fish and nothing cooked. What? I thought for sure that one would work, but I guess it doesn't. Whoa, storm started. The water level is rising so much. I wonder if that means I could get to this chest on shore. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be able to, but I'll try it because the boat can get really close to it. And well, I just beached it. Thankfully, the storm water rises high enough for me to escape. So why don't we go ahead and quickly collect some other fish? These ones we can turn in for some noodles, but we can also collect these chests here that have some goodies inside, like a perch, and then collect some different fish over in a different spot so we can make sure our restaurant has a lot of variety and the storm seems to be done so now the water level is back to normal levels to be honest though i'm not really sure what the storm exactly does but we could take the fish over to this lady now the lady over on the dock over there wants these fish so we can trade for some peppers so we'll just collect a few of these and the pair of chests that are right over here and the second one disappears as soon as i get close to it that's fun it's fine though we'll just sell the fish to these lady so we have four peppers there with two fish left over Ooh, treasure treasure up here but where right over there hopefully there's some good things in this treasure i sure hope so because the game told me about it and 35 coins are in there i like that pretty much oh and there's another treasure over there hopefully there's more money inside or something better than money though i don't really know what that would be and tell me your secrets more money nice so we'll sail in here quickly so we can trade the fish for some noodles and there's other boats out here that are fishing as well i can tell you've honed your fishing since we last met i've never seen you before in my life but let's trade in all of these things into the restaurant like so and we'll try noodles peppers and some perch and we got some spicy perch noodles very good so we could cook a few of those and then our restaurant should get some income in the middle of the night now let's try noodles some red striped fish and some peppers hopefully this is something good red striped fish soup very good it's always nice to see experimentation pay off like it does and to also get some extra goodies from the chest like more money and we have to wait for it to get late enough at night for the money to show up so that we can see that we made 95 dollars this day that's pretty good it lets us sit at a very easy $353. And there's a lot of other spots that we could go fishing on the map. And there's also a boat that shows up on the map. I wonder what that's about. It looks like it's this guy down here. Oh, there's a lot of chests back here. Whoa, hold on. The boat can wait. I need to collect all this treasure. Hopefully before it disappears. Oh, there's another one. Please don't disappear. Yes, money. You as well. Please don't disappear. Aha, more money. And we're starting to sail into open ocean. We're fine. And that mystery boat is continuing to sail into the, uh, the bottom of the world. All right, I'll see you later, I guess. Oh, he just turned around. Daring, aren't we? Well, while I'm waiting for him, I'll just collect some more fish that are right here. Later. Oh, storm started again. That's fine. Doesn't really affect me too badly. Now let's intercept this boat. Hey, you, what are you special about? Oh, it's an upgrade shop. From him, you can buy improvements for your boat and restaurant. Ooh, and he can give us a fishing net. Allows you to use fishing net to catch fish. Well, I think I'll do that. And then we can try it on this fish colony school right over here. So we aim the net and we use it like so. Oh, hey, it caught a fish. Excellent. Not really sure what makes this so special more than the rod, but at least it's quicker. It just has a little bit of a cooldown, and maybe it can catch multiple fish. Hey, it totally can. Three fish in the net. Ooh, and I can catch all of them. Oh, that's amazing. The net is so good. Thank you, merchant boat, and thank you, treasure chest, for having more money inside. So even on days where I don't cook anything, at least I'm still getting some income. And then we trade in all the fish like this. Restaurant makes zero money. That's fine. I think I'll actually take these mackerels back with me because I need to trade them for stuff, as well as these poys. And then we'll quickly back up here to the trout so we can catch all of them. This is going to make my job a lot easier. And the net catches them so quickly too. One, two, and three. Beautiful. So we have six fish in total. Why don't we just trade them all? Because we can just catch more trout over here. And then we have that much more ingredients to work with. Oh, and there's a chest that showed up right here. Hello. Thank you for having money inside. And now we have a lot of noodles that we can cook with. And then we'll come over here to catch some more mackerels and hopefully get this chest before it disappears. And yes, ooh, a recipe scrap found. Well, what are you? Hold on. Poi mackerel grill. Oh, a little hint at a recipe. I see. We'll definitely have to try that. And I ran out of space in the inventory. I see. And also because I didn't sleep through the night, I have a little bit of devops going on. Should be fine though. I just gotta trade in some of these mackerels for the unagi sauce, which I have no idea what it really
really does. But at least I can sleep next to the merchant in a totally not creepy way at all. And now we don't have the debuffs anymore. Oh, and there's chests right next to our restaurant. Hopefully we get them. Although I will stop to get these koi. Hey, a chest right there. Whirlpools appeared. What does that mean? Are they on the map? Oh, they are. What do those do? Not sure I want to know. But we found another recipe scrap, so that's good news. For spicy koi noodles. I know how to make those. I'll just need to pick up some peppers for that. But first things first, though. Let's try to make that grill recipe that we found. So if we try mackerels and koi, and let's try the unagi sauce. Cook that up, and we get... Hey, it's the grill. I was right. And we can make a few of those, actually, because we do have the sauce for it. I wonder how much they make. They make $18, which isn't too bad. It seems like the spicy stuff makes more money than the unagi stuff, but we don't have any spicy stuff. So let's just go ahead and cook up as many of these as we can. Hopefully it all gets done before the day is over. There's also vial fish that I have no idea what to do with until we find another recipe hint. But the restaurant will cook all of that up, no problem. So we can go ahead and get started on other things, like catching the koi fish over here that we can sell for some spices. And we made, oh my goodness, we made $118 that day. Now that's what I like to see. I would also like to trade every single koi that I have for some spices. And I want to catch this chest over here before I go sleepy time. Ooh, a goldfish in there. Wow. I bet there's some good recipes to be made with that because there's gold in the name. Okay, now that I've sold every koi in my collection, I need to catch some more so that I can actually make this spicy noodles recipe. And it also seems like a good idea to get as many chests as I can because they have more recipe hints in them, like this recipe scrap, which is for red striped fish soba. I have no idea how to make soba. I don't know what it is. In any case, we have the spices now and the noodles. So we slap all these in and then one of the koi's. Now that should be the spicy koi noodles. And sure enough, it is. Now we can make four of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, the koi noodles give us $20. I like it. So far, that's the winning recipe. And is this chest a winner? No, not really. Also, I realized I was calling perch trout the entire time. We don't talk about it. And my goodness, these storms really like to come out of nowhere. I'm surprised these islanders don't get washed away like they do. But we made $141 that day from the spicy koi noodles. So hopefully soon we can afford another boat upgrade. But since I have all the ingredients, let's go ahead and make some spicy perch noodles so we have consistent income and then take the rest of these so we can sell them and refresh our ingredients. Oh, hey, there's a chest right next to this guy. Don't mind if I do for some easy money and trading for noodles and mass and then replenishing our trout supply. Oh, and the merchant boat is right over there. Let's grab this chest quick and then catch up with him. Ooh, recipe scrap. That's always good to find. A mackerel perch salad. Where am I gonna get green stuff around here? Oh, merchant boat, come back here. You're kind of sailing out into open ocean. I can't follow you there. Oh, hey, came back. Thank you for listening to me. Now trade me some things. I could increase boat speed and make $187 I can trade right away. Ooh, I could unlock nitro. Do I increase the speed of the boat or just unlock nitro? I think I'll unlock nitro. It did use all of my money, but it should be worth it. So if I just hold left shift, woo! All right, it seems a little faster. And oh, we can reload it right away. Wow. Tactical reload on boat speed. I like it. And I totally forgot to sleep. Oh, well, it's a good thing I have nitro. Now let's catch fish. And wow, I guess that sleep debuff is really hitting hard. This is taking forever to catch fish. Yeah, I definitely don't want to wear it around for this anymore. Let's quickly get to shore so that we can sleep this off. So let's just sleep here at five in the morning before I trade with you. Oh my goodness. Now we have three mackerels to trade. So let's just trade all of them. And now that we don't have the debuffs, we should be able to catch fish at the normal rate, which thankfully is very fast and very plentiful thanks to the net. And I'm also going to go over back to this mackerel spot so we can make more of those koi mackerel grills since that's what I have access to right at this time. So if I have six of each, then that should mean a lot of money the next time we sell a whole bunch. And there's also a chest right here. Oh, none of space and inventory. That's too bad. Oh, there's actually two chests right here. Give me you. There's a perch in there that I don't know how I can have because I guess it doesn't weigh as much. But we got another recipe scrap for goldfish ramen. Ooh, I bet I could figure that one out. Oh, more treasure appeared. Oh, it actually shows up on the map. Well, hold on then. Let's rest really quick so I don't get the debuff. And it's at the top of the map. So let's zip over there really quickly to see what it is before it disappears again. And this seems to be the treasure chest right over here. So what do you have for me, fabled treasure chest? Nothing, because I don't have space in my inventory. Well, that's a problem. And the chest disappeared. Oh, I should have emptied. I just got so excited by the possibility of treasure. Well, you know what? We're here to make money, 
case, let's go ahead and just make a bunch of money by, let's see, first let's experiment with the goldfish and the noodles and the unagi as well. Cook all this up and there's goldfish noodles. Not the ramen I was expecting, but hey. And now we can cook up five of these mackerel koi grills, which should be very good turnout for us later tonight. And now it's time to fill up our boat full of koi so we can trade half for spicy noodles and make, well, koi spicy noodles. Or maybe we can trade all of them. How much did the goldfish ones take? $22. That's how much they give. Wow. So I bet goldfish ramen is the same thing except spice instead of unagi. Well then, by all means, let's just catch a bunch of fish and trade it for spices. And the boat is sailing right through my net line, so that's cool. Thanks, dude. Oh, you're about to do it again, huh? Well then, you have all this open ocean and you decide to go right by me. That's cool. And we made $170 that day. I like it. Okay, we're just gonna trade all these koi's for a total of 24 spices. And now the map says there's a lot of goldfish in that shell looking formation over there. So let's go ahead and make a lot of $20 noodles. Or maybe the ramen ones. Depends on what gives more. New places for fishing have appeared. Really? Oh, wow. There's a lot of perch in the area now. I think the other boats can have those. I'm here for goldfish. I think I'm just going to fill my boat entirely of goldfish. And I don't know how that one did not catch. Why? I just want to cook you up and serve you on a platter. Is that too much to ask? And I'm out of space in the inventory. So that was an entirely wasted catch. Cool. This is just definitely going my way today. Well, 16 fish isn't too bad. Let's quickly put all these away. And then let's see. Goldfish, noodles, and spice. What do you do? And it's a goldfish ramen. Very nice. Now, which one makes more? Oh, the ramen makes so much more. Well, let's go ahead and get a lot of these going. As much as we can. Because this one was only $39 bonus. But we should be able to make all of this. That's 10 bowls of ramen. Which is going to be a very good payout. And since the merchant boat is right over here. Let's go ahead and pay him a visit. Before he swims away. So that we can increase our capacity. And now we can carry even more fish. Let's also grab a few chests to hopefully get a hint for another recipe. Or money. That's good too. So I think I know what to do to get that salad recipe. First we're going to need some perch. Some for trade and then some for cooking. Ooh, hold up. Three chests in a row right here. Give me some of these. Hey, recipe scrap. I think that might be the last scrap that we were missing. Ooh, treasure appeared. Oh, it's right over there. Ah, I have a lot of room in my boat. So whatever's in there, I can definitely get. Hopefully though, I can get there before the debuff sets in. I can see it right over there in the distance. You're not getting away from me this time. So what goodies could this treasure possibly have? Ooh, wow. $276 and four mackerels. Holy mackerel. That's going to pair really nicely with the bonuses from today. $385 from today. Ha dang. And the merchant boat is going right by my restaurant. This is perfect. Actually, is he? Oh, he started to go away. That's fine, though. I still want to trade with him, so I'm going to catch up. Yeah, get away from me. So now we can afford to increase our meal prices, which is a shame I didn't get that before the revenue of tonight, but that'll be good for us next time. And you know what? Since I'm trading half, oh, I guess I already have half for here. I'll leave the mackerels here then. And now I can take the rest of these perch and just mass sell them. Them. So I have 30 noodles. And I was also right about that last recipe piece. I now have all the recipes at least hinted at, but now I need to figure out how to make them. And one of them did include the vile fish. So if we take the vile fish and then spicy, I think it said, hot soup. Is that spices and noodles? Let's cook you together, see if that's true. And it is true. Oh, that one actually gives the most right now. $27. Nice. And now red striped fish fish soba? Might as well just try it with the spicy and the noodles. Actually, that might be the fish soup. Let's go ahead. Yeah, it's the fish soup. Okay, then. But now the mackerel perch salad. Is that perch, mackerel, and noodles? It is definitely not. Maybe it's these two and spices? I'm not really sure how spices go in a salad, but yeah, they definitely don't. So I'm guessing what I need to do is, first of all, sleep through the night so I don't get hit with the debuff. Collect the earnings for both of those experimental dishes, and then make my way over here to catch some more mackerels. So I can take them over here and trade them for unagi. At least some of them. So now with all of these things, let's see. Mackerel perch salad. Perch, mackerel, and unagi. Please be right. Hey, that was right. I figured out how to make salad without any green stuff. That's the best kind of recipe. Bruh. Sadly, it only gives $15 though. Now the red stripe fish soba. Red stripe fish soba. Let it happen. Yeah, we did it. We opened all the meals in this first location. But apparently there's more locations. So if you guys want to see more of this game, then definitely be sure to let me know. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. And I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ally B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, Peggy Sue O, and Droopalong.